in today's video, I'm going to show you how to dual boot the latest Pop OS 24.04 LTS with Windows 11. This setup is completely safe, beginner friendly and works perfectly on modern UFI systems. As always, even though this process is safe, I highly recommend backing up any important data before starting. Before we start, make sure you have a few things ready. You'll need a Windows 11 PC running in UFI mode, an empty USB drive for the installer, and some free space on your internal SSD. If you're using a laptop, this is very important. Connect it to a power source before starting the installation. Power loss during disk operations can cause serious problems. Also, secure boot must be disabled and since this is a Windows 11 system, the disk will already be using GPT, which is exactly what we want. To disable secure boot, restart your PC and enter the BIOS or UFI settings. This is usually done by pressing F2, F10, delete or escape during the startup. Under the security or boot section, disable secure boot, save the changes and exit. Now let's download Pop OS. When you visit Pop OS website, you'll notice that there are several ISO options available. If you are using an Nvidia graphics card like I am, I have an Nvidia GTX 1650. Make sure you download the Nvidia ISO. If your system doesn't have Nvidia graphics, you can simply download the standard ISO. Once the ISO is downloaded, we need to download Rufus, so go to rufus.ie and it is used to make a bootable USB. So from there, just download the latest one. It's a very lightweight software. So once both files are downloaded, simply open Rufus and plug in your USB drive. Select the USB drive in the device section and then select the pop os iso that we just downloaded and we can leave everything as it is simply click start and confirm any prompts and now this will take around five minutes to create a bootable usb now we need to create a free space for pop os from inside windows so open disk management From here, identify your main drive. You can shrink or delete unnecessary partition to create some free space. Here I am deleting this 93GB partition which creates unallocated free space. This free space is where all of Pop OS will be installed and windows will not be tossed. And after this is done, now time to restart your computer and press boot menu key which is F12, ESC or delete depending upon your device. And then from the list, select your USB installer and Pop OS will start loading. And once the installer loads, select your language and keyboard layout. I'm keeping everything default. You'll now see two different installation options, clean installed and advanced. Since we are dual booting with Windows, we'll select Custom Advanced. And now click on Modify Partitions and select the unallocated 93GB space that we created earlier. And remember this step is extremely important. First we'll create an EFI partition. So set the size to be 1000 MB, leave everything as default and make sure the file system is FAT32 and then click add and next from the remaining free space we'll create the root partition use all the remaining space and keeping everything default and choose ext4 as the file system And now click apply all operations and confirm. Yeah. 
and here's one important thing after creating the partitions you must note down their names in my case the 1000 me efi partition is named nvme 0 and 1 p5 and the root partition is p8 your partition names may be different but make sure you identify them correctly now go back to the installer Click and set EFI partition to be used as boot slash EFI. And set the ext4 partition to be used as the root partition. And click erase and install. Only these two partitions will be used and Windows 11 will remain completely safe. Once the installation is complete, click restart device. You may now remove the installer USB. Now again press the boot menu key and pop OS may not always be listed by name. Sometimes it may appear as Ubuntu, your SSD name or another device entry. Just select it and pop OS will boot. And now enter your password. From here, complete the welcome setup, connect to Wi-Fi, Choose language and keyboard. Set your time zone and customize the appearance. You can choose between the appearance modes, panel layouts, workspaces and keyboard shortcuts. Once this is done, Pop OS is fully set up. Now let's confirm Windows still boots. So for this restart your PC and now press the boot menu key and select windows boot manager you can see windows 11 loads perfectly and just to summarize one key point there is no grub dual boot menu by default in pop os we choose the operating system using the boot menu key or we can set the default os from the boot priority settings grub can be installed manually and i'll cover that in a separate video and that's it you have successfully dual booted Pop OS 24.04 LTS with Windows 11 on the same internal SSD. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe to NCX Tech for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.